Hi, this is Jesse Madison. I'm here to help you search for HUD owned properties using HUDHomestore.com. Your first step will be to visit HUDHomestore.com. In the top right corner, you'll click on register as a public user. You'll create a username, a password, and answer some security questions so you can begin searching the site. Next, you will begin searching the homes, selecting a state, and then entering which county you'd like to search and you can add some additional criteria if you wish. A list of properties will then come up. You can click on any case number to select a property. Once a property is selected you can review information. The next step involves analyzing the property information. Up on the top you will find the case number, who the eligible bidders are, and what the bid deadline is to submit offers. Below, you'll find property information regarding square footage, bedroom and bath count, year built, etc. Now, one of the things that's really important is that you check the Addendums tab. And once you do check the Addendums tab, you'll have all types of pertinent information to this particular property. One of the things that you'll find down below is a property condition report and also the disclosure form if there are any FHA required repairs to this property, then you will find them here. You will open the attachment and it's a PDF file that will list any repairs required. Now remember, as a buyer, you cannot submit an offer for a HUD home on your own. You need to find a broker that has an NAID number. You can find a list of these brokers on the site. In the middle of the top bar, there's a tab called Find a Broker. Click on that. You can select the state and city you wish and you can select any broker. These are all brokers that have NAID numbers, which stands for name and address ID, which is their identification number with HUD. So any of these brokers can submit an offer. Sort of like an MLS for HUD properties. Um, it's exclusively showing you where HUD listings are. It doesn't have any other properties that aren't HUD owned homes, but you can see different types of HUD owned properties here because HUD does have their regular listings that they list that are in in good condition with less than five thousand dollars worth of repairs which they call insured and then of course there's other types of properties which are uninsured and then there's uh, homes that are the good neighbor next door program homes and there's different ways that you can search for those homes if you scroll down <coughs> here, there's a search property section where you can select um, the city California you could select like let's say Orange County and then um, the buyer type right now it says all but if you went down here, you could be a good neighbor next door buyer, or you could be a regular owner occupant or an investor. And the different properties that are available for those types of buyers will um, would come up in those types of searches. So if we look at all the properties right now and we just click search, it'll take you to uh, a list of the current Orange County properties that are that are listed. So you'll just see that there's four listings right now. You know, if you go into LA County, some of the other areas, there's there's quite a few. Um, even in Riverside County as well, but um, you got to keep in mind that these are active listings. Like you can make an offer on this property right now. It, as soon as it goes pending, it's off of here. It, it, th these properties disappear. Um, so you want to make sure that if you're interested in a property that you print out all the information that um, is pertinent to that property and that listing because you're going to have all these tabs on each one. Like if you go to this one here, this is a new listing I, I just received today. Um, it's a little condo in Santa Ana. Um, it has a property info page where you have all the regular property information. Uh, uh, you know, basically your address, your you know your square footage, bedroom count, um, your build. You know, the typical information that you that you have on a home like this. And then uh, and then on to the far right, you'll see the list price. You'll see um, you know the listing period, the period deadline, when the deadline is to submit bids on this property. Um, the repair escrow amount, how, what, what, um, what types of repairs are needed in order to go FHA. Um, and then you have an addendum section where you're going to see that there's a lot of different uh, types of addendums. Like these are the repairs that are required on this property in order for it to go S FHA. So for an FHA loan, all these repairs need to be covered in a repair escrow. Thank you for listening. Please call with any questions. Jesse Madison, Orange County, California.